Hi everyone, Knoopsy here. The Huawei P40 Pro is kind of the Android phone that dreams are made of. First up, this is a beautiful device with a stunning frosted matte black glass that picks up no fingerprints or smudges and always looks clean. It has an incredibly solid build, a 90 hz OLED display that looks gorgeous, is incredibly smooth, and the glass flows off of all the edges like a waterfall. Even the in-display fingerprint scanner is faster, much more accurate, and definitely improved versus the previous P30 Pro. And even having these curved, sloped waterfall edges, there's no accidental presses or annoying ghost presses, it just works really well. The whole front of the phone is a speaker, you have an IR blaster for controlling your TV, it's water resistant, you can expand the storage, and inside the specifications are at peak performance. You got 8GB of RAM, Kirin 990 5G processor, 128GB of storage on the base model. And the battery capacity is 4200mAh as well inside this phone. It definitely lasts a full day of usage and maybe even a day and a half depending on how heavy you use your phone. And when you're ready to charge up your phone, you got options. 40 watt wired charging and 40 watt wireless charging as well, made for wireless chargers that probably don't even exist yet. And you also have reverse wireless charging here to charge up other phones or accessories. And of course the cameras. Huawei has sort of become the dark horse, the wild card for smartphone cameras, making some of the best smartphone camera experiences and having the most versatile setups available. The front facing camera is 32 megapixels, it shoots in 4K, the phone has electronic stabilization, and also autofocus as well. So you can get close to your face, it'll be in focus, you get far away, it's also going to be in focus. There's also a time of flight sensor here on the front as well for better portrait and depth effects. And the rear camera situation is also amazing. 50 megapixel main camera with a huge sensor, 40 megapixel ultra wide camera, 12 megapixel telephoto periscope camera, and a time of flight depth sensor. And the results of course speak for themselves. Photos are absolutely beautiful with great colors, contrast, and dynamic range. The phone also has 10 times optical zoom and up to 50 times digital zoom, so you can zoom in on things pretty far away while still maintaining usable details. And at night, without the night mode and with the night mode, this phone absolutely kills it with low light shots. Night mode shots are available on all the cameras on this device, and in combination with the larger sensor, the phone definitely leads in many situations in night mode. k video recording is also nice, with excellent smooth stabilization, decent overall dynamic range, and the ability to actually shoot with a faux bokeh blur mode. It's alright. And video at night, something most manufacturers don't really focus on, is kind of a winner here too. Video in low light looks excellent and it's quite usable. Even Huawei's software experience here with EMUI 10.1 is much improved from previous versions and is definitely a much better version of skinned Android. There's actually useful features, it's very fluid, great animations, it's much improved. Then, the nightmare. The app situation. There's no Google anywhere in sight on this phone. 
Now I do know that in many countries around the world, Google Apps are just not commonly used. Either they are banned or avoided, and that's fine. But this phone is actually being sold here in Canada, in the UK, around Europe, Australia, and plenty of other countries, where Google Apps and services and many other apps that people rely on daily are just not here. Now sure, life without Google Apps and services is definitely possible. There are plenty of alternatives for maps, storage, productivity, mail, there are plenty of options, no problem. But you need a place to actually download alternative apps, and I gotta say, as impressive as Huawei's app gallery is in terms of press releases and numbers and the time it took to actually be developed and launched, this ain't it. So on App Gallery, what apps are actually available? Well, let's say you want to watch some videos, movies, TV shows. Good luck. Let's say you want some social apps. Well, there aren't really too many. I hope TikTok's fine. Maps? There's no maps. Music? There's no music apps. Games? Yeah, there are some games, thankfully, but not really too many. There are ways to get some unsupported apps though, of course. In some listings on the store, Huawei includes links to the web versions of apps which you can download and add to your home screen. And some of the links just don't work at all. But the most popular way of getting unsupported apps on this phone is downloading APKs, either just from Google or from an alternative store like Aptoid. But doing this whole process of downloading APKs and getting alternative app stores, it's not something an average user would do. It's just too complicated and it's a lot of work. And you also don't get updates for these apps either. You have to keep downloading new APKs and you may end up downloading a hacked or modified version of an app resulting in a compromise of your security. So I've been able to actually get Chrome, Instagram, and other apps I've wanted. But you can't actually sign into your Google account though in Maps, Photos, Chrome, Drive, and more. You can log into your Gmail account though in the Huawei Mail app, which at least is good. Regardless, I will link some options in the description down below how you can download the Play Store and other APKs you may want. Not only is the selection of popular apps not really available in App Gallery, the selection of some apps is highly questionable. This, for example, is a game that says it's Grand Theft Auto Vice City San Andreas Patience. Look at the description. And this is the game. It's a bunch of loading screens and the game itself is some random puzzle game. What? Okay, that's all I got. This phone, in theory, is a perfect overall device. The design? Beautiful. Specifications? Next level power. Display? Smooth and stunning. Cameras? Groundbreaking. But it all falls apart with software support. If you don't mind sideloading apps though, this is one of the best phones of the year easily. The best way to actually summarize and explain the P40 Pro is with the comments I found in the video on how to get apps on the latest Huawei devices. The comment said, This phone is like having a Bugatti with no engine. This phone has everything that makes it a truly amazing device, but missing many of the core apps that we expect and use and rely on in our daily lives. So, those are my thoughts on the P40 Pro. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Can you live without Google Apps? Do not mind installing apps from unknown sources or different sources. Let me know, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and thank you for watching.